All right. Uh, is that my net? Oh, just give a minute. Give a minute for the joint. Okay, Manet, are you are you available now? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, let's go go through it. So I um, one seventh is like not possible to get without um, having it be two of something. So I did two of fourteenth is e equivalent to one seventh. So I made the denominator fourteen and. None of the other ones work because the numerator in any case is going to be two. And you're going to have to divide both numbers, the numerator and the denominator by two, making X only being four and it can't be anything else. So X can be 14. For 14 is one possible value of X, but not quite yet. So there are multiple possible value. If you look at the problem, the great, find the greatest possible value of X, one over X. But I think, um, it's a really good start to, to get to the value of uh, x equals to 14. So let's rewrite this. 1 over 7. Okay, so the, the problem really is trying to give you some hint. You know, find the value x in terms of y. So this is actually our first step to go through. So we're going to do some simplification on this. So we're going to make a x, y as their common uh, factor. So this become y, this become x, and it becomes one over seven. So if we can uh, just multiply seven x y on both sides, so this becomes seven x plus y equals to x y. Okay. So we keep going. That uh, we got um, uh, seven x. Remember, we want to write x in terms of y. So we want to con consolidate x. So 7x plus 7y minus uh, yx equals to 0. So we want to consolidate x, right? So this becomes 7 minus yx equals um, a negative 7y. So yeah, negative 7y. Okay. Well, let's just change, rearrange it, y minus 7x equals 7y, okay? So, sorry, so x equals 7y, y over 7, okay? So this is not very, uh, let's say, algebra friendly, right? So we want to rearrange just a little bit. So we want to do a little bit of uh, transformation from from 7y become 7y minus 7. Why do I do this? Because I want to uh, kind of um, uh, cancel out this part, right? But there was 7y, but I'm, I did subtraction of 49 here. So what I need to do is to add that 49 back. All right, everybody follow? Hopefully. Okay, so now I can have this part. So y minus seven, this becomes seven y minus seven, which is seven plus 49 y minus seven. Okay, so this is cancel out. So this is seven plus 49 y minus seven. Okay, 49. Yeah, so this is, this is x in terms of y. Now, if you look at this, uh, x is integer, right? That means y is an integer. So this, this y minus seven can only be what? T tell me. Somebody? My denominator in here can only be what? Uh, 14, uh, a multiple, a multiple of seven. Mm -mm. That's not good enough. So this whole thing needs to be integer, okay? Tell me what the denominator has to be. Don't, don't tell me what y must be. I want, I'm asking, tell me what the denominator has to be in here, possible denominator. Seven and one. 
and, and 49. And 49. Perfect. So if we want to know the greatest value of, uh, let's say, the smallest value of, sorry, what do you call that? Um, least value or minimum value of x, that means um, this has to be minimum, right? What's the minimum of this value? Uh, right here, because it's hard to see. Y minus seven, so X equals seven plus this, right? It's asking what's the greatest value of uh, one over X. That basically is asking you what's the largest value of X, right? Sorry, uh, uh, minimum value of X. Right, when x is minimum, one over x is greatest. Got it? So what's the minimum of this, this whole value? We know seven is constant, but what's the minimum of this? Eight. This. Oh, uh, one. One. Everybody got it? It's only when the denominator equals 49, this is one, and that's the minimum value x can, can go. Any other values? So. We know y minus seven must be either one or seven or 49. There's only three values possible to become a, a denominator so that um, to make a, this part an integer, right? So if when this equals to 49, when denominator equals 49, x becomes the minimum value, which is eight. That's the minimum, okay? And to answer the question, what's the greatest possible of one over X? So one over X, the greatest one will be one over eight. Make sense? So this one over eight is the greatest value of one over X, okay? Now, uh, the next question is what's the possible, all possible value of X, right? So, we know x equals to eight when, when picking 49, right? And the next value would be if y minus seven is seven, x equals to what? Seven plus? Seven. Seven, right? That's 14. That's what Manit just said. Oh, can't see. Okay. And the next one is when y minus seven is equal to one, we got x equals to seven plus, continue? 49. 49, right? And that's 56. So all the possible values would be these. What's the key part of this problem? The key part is, is here. Because it's easy to put x equals to this, but it's not so straightforward. Um, what are we gonna do next? So you do a little bit trick here. And what I'm going to, um, I will leave a few homework uh, just to do this, okay? Um, when you have denominator and numerator both have variable let's try to extract a constant somewhere okay in this case it's uh, seven so I'll, I'll do a few exercise with homework um don't get stressed out if uh, uh have no clue um i'll try to make it uh, more straightforward um but um, i think this is a very important uh, uh, say skill uh, for manipulation on the numbers, on the algebra. Okay, um, pretty good discussion. Uh, I think uh, we can move on. Uh, we still have a few things I'd like to um, go through. And now, this one, I will go, really go quickly. I don't need to share whiteboard or anything. So uh, six digit number formed by repeating three digit number, okay? Oh, uh, you're not sharing. I'm not. 
Sorry. What about now? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, am I recording? I think so. Yeah, you're. Okay, thanks. Okay, six digit number is formed by repeating a three digit number. Sounds familiar? We got this again. So for example, 256, 256, okay? Find GCF, common, greatest common factor of all numbers of this form. You have done this before. So the reason I'm putting it here is just to let you know, there's so many problems and they're so similar, right? Six, six digits with three repeating. Uh, somebody, can somebody tell me immediately what is the common factor? What's the GCF? One zero zero one. Thank you. So you divide by that repeating digit. You got one zero zero one. Okay, and uh, I put some notes and it's always 101. And 101 is very important. Why? Anyone still remember? What's the special property of 101? Uh, it's divisible by... Give me one. Give seven. me one. Seven. Seven, good. But it's also divisible by 13 and 11, okay? Should you remember that? Okay, um, so that's that. Um, this one I'm gonna skip because it's basically the same thing. It's still, if you look at this, um, it's asking you to do prime factorization, 205, 205, 000. zero, zero. Wait, this is not six digit, but I have a, you have a three zero in the end. If you don't have the three zero, this becomes six digit with three digit repeat. So this is still one zero zero one with a thousand as another factor, right? So if you know that, um, you can do that pretty quick, and and you know that one o one is seven thirteen and eleven. So this will make it uh, pretty fast. Okay. All right. Um, let's do one more with algebra, and we'll be done with the. Uh, algebra okay let's do it let's give it uh, two minutes for this one Okay, for this problem, I only ask you what's the equation you have. If anyone has figured out the equation, let me know. I don't need you to solve to the final answer. Uh, 100A plus 10B plus C equals 2AB plus 2AC plus 2BC. Okay, 100A plus 10B plus C equals what? 2AB plus 2AC plus 2BC the right side the right side is wrong okay but i like your left side so 100a plus 10b plus c so this is basically the representation of the abc in the real numerical value and how do you write ab again let's say this is the original problem abc is AB plus, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm trying to push this on, but uh, 
a b plus b a plus uh, a c plus c a plus b c plus c d okay what's the what does a b what's the rep numerical representation of a b in here uh 100 a plus wait no 10 a plus b 10 a plus b that's the correct answer everybody got that and we got a plus what 10 b plus a plus a okay now let's give another half a minute i want to get the final equation from everybody do the same thing on ACCA, and then uh, I want to get that um, equation at least done right by everybody. What I mean is do a little simplification, okay? Do the simplification and uh, try to make the representation of um, uh, A equals to uh, you know, A equals to algebra of B and C, okay? Okay, any, at least uh, you should figure out the right, right side of this, right? What's the right side in here? 42 times A plus B plus C. Okay, so we can simplify a little bit in here, right? So I want to get rid of A. So what's my A here? So you need to have the skill of uh, getting A in terms of B and C, right? What is that? 100 minus 22, which is 78. So 78A. Okay, let's do 78A. Equals. Let's continue. Twelve B. Twelve B. Uh, plus twenty one C. Twenty one C. Okay, it's pretty good. Now, this is not the final, right? All of them have multiple of three. So let's do twenty six A equals to four B plus seven C. Seven A. Yeah, seven C. Yeah. So A would be this thing divided over by 26. Yeah. So you get this part, then this problem is almost done. Why? Remember, A, B, C, that you are not going to solve the equation, but you're just, you, with the, so many limits of a, being a digit, um, you will get it, it by itself. So let's look at what's the, what's the maximum A can be, right? So if B, B can be nine, C can be nine, right? That's the maximum they can get. So if they're nine, so what's what's the uh, let's say a max? Let's say this is twenty six. This is nine thirty six, and this is nine sixty three, right? So this is less than a hundred, right? And this is um, four point something, right? Let's say um, you know twenty six um, times four is what? Uh, it's 99. So 99 divided by 26. It's not even four. It right? has to be an even. Yeah, let's, even. let's just say three. Three point something. Let's see. Right, 3.9, 3.8, whatever. But we know that A can be less than 
or equal to three. This is what we this is what we got to estimate in here, right? So a cannot be more than three. And uh, now the the problem asks us to see if what's the maximum, what's the largest possible value. Then we want to see if a is equal to three is it possible, right? So let's say a equal to three, right? And you and you're right. Um, a is a can be if a is three. Let's say the, this is three. Okay, what we get in here? So four b plus seven c equals seventy eight, right? So let's look at this again. What's the limitation here? Four b. So b can only be nine at most, right? So uh, so if let's say b is nine. This is a uh, what thirty six, and this is uh, forty something forty two, so C can be six. It it means C can at least be six. Is that right? So B can be at most nine. That means C must be at least six. Everybody follow? Let's try again. So. I say four B. Let's say B is max is nine. So this becomes thirty six plus seven C equals seventy eight, right? So seven C here equals forty two, and C is equal to six. It means when B is at most nine, C is six. So C and B should be less than nine, right? So less or equal. So C must be greater or equal than six, okay? So uh, we know that C must be even. And then when C is six, guess what? It works, right? So it works. Now can C be even further? Um, uh, if you try, and try to do uh, five, uh, let's say eight, would that work? Because C must be even, right? So if we're trying to do eight, would that work? Uh, if we put eight in here, this will become 56 and this become 22. So 22, that, that doesn't work. So B must be integer, right? So turn off C must be, uh, yeah, must be six, okay? Give a minute, give a minute. Should digest this part. So the key thing is you, you just need to sort of uh, make, the, um, make the formula, formulation of the algebra and then make your guess. This is, this is the part very important. You, don't, you, you can't really solve the equation, but you can make your estimate. So this, this is like engineering job, right? You, you don't get to the answer, but you can sort of uh, guess it, you know, narrow down it. And, and, and guess what? By being a digit or by being an integer, positive integer, there's so many limits to, to make this happen. So it turned out you only have one possibility. So the final answer is 396. So A is three, C is, um, is six, and B is nine, okay? That's, that's the only answer in here. Okay, perfect time. Um, I think that's um, pretty much what we have today. And I didn't, I did not get to the base, um, but um, uh, next to time should be Coach Hamali um, or other coach. So not not me. Uh, it so this is probably the end of the uh, number into number. Um, we haven't even got into the counting yet. So there's still a lot of things I plan to cover, but we didn't, um, but that's okay. We will um, go over things while we see um, problems. And what I want to do today is um, probably provide the written homework solution and post it online because next, meeting I won't be able to talk them through so um, at least you will have a version to you have a chance to look at the solution 
you know the problem, uh, how the problem is uh, done. Uh, because the thing is, if you do the problem and you don't know right and wrong, or you don't know how you get it wrong, then the problem you did is just be in vain. So uh, I'll try to provide a solution and post it online after the due date. And um, meanwhile, I'll post the slides recording uh, as we did the previously. And besides that, any other questions you may have? If not, you can feel free to uh, dismiss. Thank you. You're welcome.